Hey guys, I want to show you a cool thing that I learned recently, which is XHR2, which is XML HTTP Request 2, also known as AJAX2. This is a new spec that was recently introduced. Actually, I don't know about recently, I'm not sure when it came out, but I didn't know about it. And it allows you to do file uploads via AJAX. Sounds like something you've always been able to do, right? Well, in the past, if you weren't using uh, XHR2, you had to either use Flash, or you had to submit your form to an iframe and then grab the iframe contents and then bring it back in. It was all this kind of messy stuff and then if you wanted progress on the upload, I'll forget it. So XHR2 gives us ability with a little bit of jQuery to do file uploads extremely easily. And I made a plug in here that I'm that maybe exists already, I don't know, I just threw it together, of how to do this uh, in the most shit simple way possible. So I'm gonna show you that now. So we have our HTML form, we've got an input with an ID and a name, a button, the ID and, an, and a value of upload, and then a progress element. This is an HTML5 progress element with the value 0, minimum 0, and the maximum 100. So let's go ahead and write our file input. This is the steps, if you had this plugin, that you would take to make an AJAX file upload. So we're going to click our button, upload, oops, spelled it wrong, upload.onClick function, and the and then we're going to go ahead and do our AJAX upload. So the first thing that we need is to target our file that we want to upload. And this can be multiple files. It doesn't have to be one. Uh, we will do uh, my file. And we're going to call the upload function. And this takes a few parameters. The first parameter is the, the PHP file we want to shoot for, for the upload. And that's going to be xhr2.php. The second one is going to be a success function. So we're going to put function and then success. And then the last one is going to be a progress function. So this could be a function that takes the progress, and this gets called over and over again. Like this function gets called over and over again as progress comes in. But I've made it even simpler than that, and all you have to do is pass it the progress element that you want to update. Okay? And so we'll just pass it a progress element of prog, and we'll close that off. And then in here, for the success, we'll just console.log when we're done by just typing done. And that's it. Like that, This is all you have to do to do an AJAX file upload. This is so much simpler than the past. So I'll just save that out, and let's give it a quick test. So I'll refresh the page here, and I'll choose a file, and I'll choose this uh, 6 megabyte file right here, and I'll just hit upload. And you can see the progress is filling out, and it's done. File's uploaded. And you might be wondering, well, what PHP is behind all this? Well, actually, none. There's zero PHP behind this. Obviously, you could handle it. So if we wanted to, we could put some PHP here. And that's not the file that's on the server. So if you wanted to, you could put some PHP behind it and just say, uh, let's do var dump underscore files, which is where your, fi your files would be, right? So now PHP is going to dump that out. So what we'll do, go we'll do is go back to... Uh, our file here, this one, and we're just going to uh, we'll dump out this success, which should be the contents of our PHP file. So we'll do that again, and we'll choose file, and choose that same one, and choose upload. It'll upload with progress, because it's beautiful. And here's our files array. My file, just like you would expect, temporary, it's in a temp folder, with the type, size, everything, exactly as you would expect it. So that is awesome it's so easy to do this now so there's one other, there's a couple other things you can do so the long way of doing this progress if you don't want to just give it an element is to actually write the progress function yourself like that and that takes in progress and I gave you a helper function if you did that and I give you the value which is kinda cool so if I console.log the value as I upload so now I refresh and I'll go ahead and upload with a value and choose upload you can see the value as it tries to reach 100. Okay. Now you're like, you know, you're probably wondering why I didn't update this. Well, it didn't update that because I didn't actually give it the element. So now that we have that, we actually have to do it ourselves. So we'll just say prog.val value, right? Because because I didn't give it my shortcut method, I have to I have to tell it what to do here, right? This is, gives you more control though. So I will uh, refresh this and do it one more time now that I'm manually doing the work, and I'll go ahead and hit upload. And you can see now this is moving, and this is the value of it. And if you if you want even more hardcore stuff than that, I'll change this to prog, 
and this t shows you what actually you get back from the progress element. So choose file, I'll choose that guy, and upload. And this is actually the progress event that's coming back. Okay, And so each one has a lot of stuff, but precisely it has the total and total size, which is what you can use to be able to, or you can do loaded and position, or, or loaded and uh, total. So there's a lot of different ways you can calculate it, but these are generally all the, always the same. So using these is what I'm doing in the calculation, because if you come up here, you can see I'm doing loaded divided by total times 100, and I'm doing my trick for math.floor to get rid of the decimal. And that's that. I mean, it doesn't get, there's one more thing I should tell you about, one more thing that I did, and that is you can pass some data along as well, because you're like, well, this is Ajax, what if I have more form data? So you can actually pass a object of data. So you could say, um, my data colon, hey, um, foo bar, whatever. So I'm passing data as well as that. And you're like, well, how does that come in? Well, in PHP, let's var dump files, and we'll var dump underscore post as well. Okay. And if all goes according to plan, I should pass this data along with my file in. Okay. And I'll get rid of the progress check because it doesn't need to happen. So now let's take a look. So this is passing extra data and handling the progress myself. Choose file, this, and upload. And it's doing it. And once it's done, almost. So it got the file, but it didn't do my post. So let's see what happened there. Because I put my object in my click event and not in my actual plugin. Whoops. Upload that and then the data. Sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't confuse you too much. Probably did. You know what? I'll explain that one more time what I did wrong. I put my object here in the cl in this on event instead of in my actual plugin, which is here. Let me separate these two. Th this is my actual plugin call, and I actually put it up here by accident. So upload the remote file, some data, okay? then my success function, and then my progress function, okay? That's the parts of the plugin. So now, if I refresh, again, sorry about that. Now, once I upload this file, it will upload, do its thing, and then, there we go, here's my files, and here is my post. So there you go, a quick and simple way to do Ajax file uploads. It does not get simpler than this, it just can't. So I'll, uh, I'll make a gist of this. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, and I've probably bored a ton of people already. But if you want to read through exactly what's happening here, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but I've abstracted away a little bit of the stuff that this takes. For example, form data is a thing, and using Ajax raw, and using the Ajax settings, so et cetera, et cetera. All in all, if you use this, it's just so simple to do. And I guess the last thing I'll show you, since I keep saying that, is what happens if you have multiple files. So I'll take this, and I'll have uh, files, and I'll just change this to class my file, right, instead. And I'll just name this my file 1, 2, and 3. So now I've got class my file. So now it's um, that. So let's take a look at what happens if you have multiple files. So I'll choose that, and choose that, and choose a screenshot and we'll choose upload you can see it does one and then two and then three so it makes three Ajax requests okay so you actually hit it uh, thrice so once twice and thrice and you could change that if you guys think it's important for me to change that I could doesn't have to be this way but I am eaching over uh, each of the requested files so right now it's going to upload each one individually, which I think is better because you get progress on each file. So that's I think that's better. So that's how you do multiple files, single files, with post data, and uh, with progress. And it can't get easier than this. Thanks, guys.